Wrapped in glass? Hold on! <laughs> Wait until they see the video, people breaking in from the roof. And, I mean, that was the time. These are the comments that have been going on and, and, and have been said a million times. And I know many of you know exactly what I'm talking about. And also the fact that we had to justify. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Powerful Reactions. And today we're going to do something very interesting because you reached out to me actually a couple of weeks ago and said, hey, it's time for you to react to somebody else, reacting to somebody else. No, not really. Almost, almost. Me reacting to Generation Z reacting to Slipknot. And of course, if you have known us or have been following the channel, you know that I'm a huge Slipknot fan. I've seen them a million times. Matter of fact, when I was 16, I turned 16, I tattooed the logo on my back. And that was just the start of a crazy journey with this band. So of course, I cannot wait to do this. Uh, just from the thumbnail, I see already the 1999 video of Wait and Bleed. That's the video that definitely changed my life with Slipknot. And if you want to know why and everything else, then stay tuned. All right, everyone, today we're going to react, as I said, to Generation Z uh -uh, reacting to Slipknot. And I have so much to talk about already about Generation Z, because that's the first generation, in my opinion, that definitely, definitely went a different path when it comes to appreciating music, appreciating genres and knowing bands. You know, for some reason, Generation Z doesn't really know any legendary bands and it's not about the fact that they were not born at that time because i was not born in the 60s and 70s i still know them so we're going to talk about this later if you haven't subscribed by now please make sure to subscribe it really helps us it helps the community i love every single one of you the support is amazing and i cannot wait to see all of you many of you at our live stream parties where we have slipknot very very often and now it's time generation z reacts to slipknot psychosocial the dying song wait and bleed okay let's go all right, everyone, let's do this. It's a pretty long video, by the way, 12 minutes and 39 seconds, but I think it's going to be worth it. And I'm going to be brutally honest. Here we go. All right, so it starts with uh, Wait, wait am I supposed to be like recognizing who this is? Because I don't know who this is. <laughs> I told you. I told you this. I mean, I really, I cannot believe this. And I think it's also the fault of social media being so fast, delivering new stuff on a daily basis, blah, 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 blah. But at the same time, Okay, we will dive in later into this. Not. Nah, they are some freaky people. They have scary masks on. Also, their masks freak me out way too much. I kind of like his voice, but what is this face? Oh, okay. Oh! I'm okay with metal, but heavy metal is like a bit much for me. I mean, it's cool. It's not my vibe. Not my cup of tea, but... Yeah, okay. Wow, it seems so lit, okay? I'm not gonna lie. Like, everybody here seems to be having a good time. For sure. I don't know who that is. Um, who is, who are they? You just listened to Wait and Bleed. They're scary, like, I don't get the masks. I just was hearing screaming. It wasn't, like, horrible. Heavy metal and death metal and anything after that, it gets too much. I am so excited to listen to Slipknot for 30 minutes. Wow! I'm very excited to see your reaction. Hmm. All right, everyone. So this is interesting because when I saw the video, this is probably the first time in a couple of years that I watched the original uh, live performance of Wait and Bleed. And I remember recording it on VHS, as many of you, because back then, I mean, I think DVD was out there, but no YouTube. So I remember watching it over and over. And there was this rawness, rawness. It was cold. It was brutal. It was, it was insane in a very good way in a very good way. And I was like, I cannot get enough of this. I need to see who this is. I need to check them out. And then I did. And then Iowa came and that was another monster. I had to get used to this again, but that's another story. Some of their reactions are exactly the same 24 years ago, just not understanding what it is. And also the magic or creates the magic, uh, the you know mystery about Slipknot and you will like it. You wanna know more. That is still there and that will never fade. Perfect. <laughs> Here we go, hi, wow. When I go to Halloween Horror Nights, this is what all the people are wearing. Sure. Ooh. Sure. Wow, those are, so oh no, honey, not the brain. This is like ugly, like this is not even, ew. If I was eight years old and I saw this on TV, I would probably pee my pants. That was the reason back then, that was the reason. Wrapped in glass? Hold on! <laughs> Psycho, he's gonna do something cray cray. Well, we should not give him disaster pieces. If he sees A lot those of lyrics. Their style comes from like 
horror movies and horror-esque elements. Like Hollywood Horror Nights. This is not even damn music. Okay. That was literally just screaming. I don't like it. Don't yell at me. Like, I listen to Taylor Swift. On my drive here, I'm listening to, like, slow reggae music. I don't want to post this video a million times, but that was another fact for us being, you know, 14, 15, 16, listening to this music. We didn't want anyone else to like it. We wanted this genre to be something special. And I think many of you uh, agree on that. That was very different. So this, if I would be 15, 16, I'd be like this. Yes, success. Exactly. Definitely a switch up. It would be really beneficial for all heavy rockers to take a therapy class. I don't know what was going on in that music video, but... Well, here we go with the stereotypical comments. The only parts that were colored were was like blood, which totally works for their style of music. Limp Bizkit has music. They're, they have music. This crap, that's just screaming. What is that? Slipknot. That didn't happen, did it? That really happened right now? I mean, I love Limp Bizkit, also seen them a million times, but... <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just gotta... Shh. No, this is gonna be more appealing to them, I'm they telling just you. start on 10. That See, was the change, okay, it doesn't force, the boom the verses. Still going. <laughs> the checkered vans. They're not showing the masks. I'm kind of a fan of that. Okay, this one's okay. Yes. Never mind. It was going good until they showed a damn skeleton. Okay, I like this one more. I don't know why. I'm sorry, I don't hear music. I just hear screaming. All right, is it gonna show like that? This guy, however. Them, or is it only gonna show like their hands and their shoes? They must have like a little bit of concussion. I feel like your brain is doing a lot of shaking. Okay, Willow Smith. My drummer boy is going in every time. This is so fun to see everyone. They're using the same clips. I don't know if that's mean, but it screams hot topic to me. Okay, these have like more understandable lyrics. I am a world before I am a man. Poetic. Hey, at least this one they're not wearing creepy masks. You know, before we continue, I think they will like it more and more and more, you know, according to the evolution of Slipknot and their music. This was the major, major change, especially coming after Iowa. Uh, 2004 in June, I think, June or May, they released the Subliminal Volume 3, Subliminal Versus, and I saw them there on that tour as well, opening for Metallica. Crazy, crazy show, by the way. And it was very melodic compared to anything before. So that was also the time when all of a sudden other people were like, hmm, duality. Yeah, before I forget, yeah. So we will probably see the same evolution with the people right now reacting. I think that has been the best out of the three. I'm telling you, these lyrics, I'm they a fortune teller. Depth. Here we go. Stay bold, shut, claustrophobic. Of the songs that I heard before, this one sounded the most palatable. It was a little more sing-songy rather than like hardcore screaming. He seems like a very angry boy. I think he needs to let it out and I'm happy that he's able to do it and make money at the same time. You like that That's one? True. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Hey, there we go. Into your what? His eyes. Oh my God! It's the only thing. Oh my God. Stops the air. Ooh, marathon. Wait until they see the video. People breaking in from the roof. And, I mean, that was the time. That was... I just seeing this video clip is so nostalgic. I remember parties and anything else. It was crazy. Okay, what is happening? Oh, we're getting yeah, She will see what's happening. She will see now. Ah, oh, crap. The masks are back. Not the masks again. Oh, these masks are even scarier. Okay, here's this the only one realizing that they stuff. progress with the uh, choices of the masks. The first one. Okay! I think this one's okay too. Why is everyone shirtless? No one wants to see your boobs. <laughs> Put a shirt on, love. I'm getting major Halloween vibes. I have a left behind this little fact you cannot kill what you did not create. My man is kind of spitting. This lead singer is a poet. Poetry doesn't sell in the I like this guy century. the most. So what is he gonna do? He is getting He's gonna it. distract it by having his little bandmates play loud, crazy music. But my boy is talking about his inner struggles. And he's doing it while screaming and putting his fingers through his eyes. I don't know what that's about. 
They should have showed him spit it out. Did you never give a damn in the first place? Maybe it's time you were the tables turned. Cause in the interest of all of all, they got the problem solved. And the British culture. Oh, this song happens to be the top listened song on Apple Music. What? You wanna know what I heard the whole time? Ah, ah. Good for you. All hope is gone, it said. Perfect way to start. This is definitely what I see in my nightmares. I'm honestly really terrified of this. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. All I'm getting from this is like fire, skulls, scary masks. I feel so stupid, like not in my head because like what the fuck is it? Was that a dead animal? What is up with the nose? <laughs> You know, our friends that didn't like this music or were not into this or didn't understand this music, those comments we always got. Two people. Oh, this guy with the nose, Chris fan. And Craig, this guy looks like Hellraiser with his pin hat, you know. That was all. Oh, these two comments came all the time. I did my time and I went out. Okay. Okay, I've heard this song. I've heard this song. He's like, I did it. Well, this song has been uh, featured on yeah, the Punisher like, movie. Maybe she heard it there. The Reckoning! <laughs> what? He's a, he's a future Simon fan, this guy, 100%. Actual heaven, but to me, like, that is what I think I'd see in hell. I can't get behind the lyrics in the this, this song. Are you gonna tell me that's damn singing? That's singing to you. They will love this oh, part. Oh, perfect. Spike guy. What is up with this guy and the damn pipe spikes sticking out of his head? This is like Handmaid's Tale. Told you this. Slower. A little bit more sad. Not exactly head bangy. Oh, dude has nose because he's an owner of crow. I mean, of course, I have never seen this video, but these are the comments. It's not a surprise to me that exactly what I say happens afterwards. These are the comments that have been going on and, and, and have been said a million times. And I know many of you know exactly what I'm talking about. And also the fact that we had to justify us liking that music. That's another thing. Rosa. Swallow, but nothing's forgiven. I like this one. You know what's Is crazy? This in a straight jacket? This song doesn't even feel that old to me. At least this one he's actually singing. I love that they've like stayed true to their like vibe. This one I like a little bit more. Okay, I can wait, hear more wait. of his, his, his vocals. All right, wait, bro. Here we go. Oh no. This is the song that they start the mosh pits to because so it slowly ramps up. Okay. Oh, never mind. There it is. They tricked me. I thought we weren't headbanging, but here we are. I can never have a calm moment with this group. They. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Ew! Oh! What's happening? He's eating an arm! All right, first of all, I'm gonna have a teeny toss here. The pitch went a bit too high for me, but yeah, that seed is of course crazy. I didn't like the song when it came out. I didn't like the record, uh, The Great Chapter 2014. Uh, that's just my personal taste and my personal take on that. In this case, the video will shock more than the song. I'm just not sure which songs they will show. Okay, it says here, Unsainted, mm, they will like this one. The Dying Song, they will like this one. So no disaster pieces, no people equal. Sh and a few others. Uh, again, a lot of their visuals have to do with horror. That's almost as bad as putting your fingers through your eyes. Why are you, oh, honey, no. Oh, you got the wrong one. How is this appealing to people? For them, it's getting their feelings out into a song, wanting to get out their frustrations. But to a person hearing it, they can interpret it in a different way. Now I'm questioning how his concerts are. Does he just eat arms live? Like, is that what he does? Should I just go to a concert to find out? I should do that, huh? A choir. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, look, a lady with no mask. I like her. She's cool. <laughs> she looks like Margot Robbie. Yeah, this one sounds more like Fall Out Boy. This is oh, God. First and Biscuit, Fall Out Boy. I don't like that. I mean, I like those pants, I but. Could listen to this part. Then again, I don't know how the rest of the song is. Wait until like, the guitar comes. This would be like comes. a cool like, movie if I knew what was going on. It's Here we go. Very much cult vibes. Oh, I told you he needed a hug. Oh, what? What? Oh, oh, I'm scared. There it is. We came from such a sweet place. <laughs> it's like an anime opening. Headbanging. 
Spike face! I'm rooting for you, but you keep messing up! The stamp Spike guy is the one that gets me every time. We were going a few steps forward, but then... It turns to this. I like this one because I was able to hear th their voices and how melodic they can be. I really can't talk because I'm gonna offend so many people. I wouldn't. You know what? I mean, some of them, uh, of course, this is their first impression. At the same time, the ignorance is knocking on the door with some comments. And that's also the ignorance that led many controversies. You know, when school shootings were happening, they blamed it on heavy metal, Slipknot, especially back then, 2000, 2001. Some people might understand the lyrics the wrong way. Well, of course. You can understand anything the wrong way, but it's up to you. As an artist, as a musician, you're not responsible. You cannot really control it and prevent it. Let's put it that way. But again, it's an easy way for the society to blame video games, another thing, and of course, heavy music. So let's see what they're gonna say now. Uh, two of them definitely won from me and the rest is the rest. I never kill myself to save my soul. Understandable. You needed a hug, understandable. The cult formation, a little questionable. And then we just start screaming and having these crazy symbolisms and these signs. Mm. That's a great part. Yes. I like it up, go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I like that part. It hurts my eardrums. Be so for real. Oh my gosh. What happened? Where did we go? This music video needs like a epilepsy warning. <laughs> oh, I like some of them. Oh gosh! Ah, oh, what's happening? What is up with the weird crawling? Hey, we have a diamond face. What happened to Spike Boy? That's not him. Put your mouth into the water. I'm having mixed feelings. Again, there's my best friend, Spike Boy. Yeah, this one I can listen to. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god! Wow! How did they not lose their voices? How old are these people? That's what I want to know. Like, do they have like grandkids doing this? Ooh, the pause is dramatic. My voice already feels strained just listening to that. Technique! They intrigue right, me at the beginning and at the end, but they lose me in the middle every time. With this one, I hear. You know, but at the same time, we need to be honest here. You know, the didn't catch me right away. You know, it didn't probably happen to you as well. You need to get used to it and uh, comfortable with what you're hearing. So there will be parts that you're like, oh my God, this screaming part, I'm not sure yet. Emphasis on the word yet. Because at the end of the day, later on, you might and probably will fall in love with those parts as well. The melodies in it, it's a little bit intense, but at least I can hear it. I did not catch one word. I can see why people no, would be you excited did. to listen you to did. an album like that. Not my type of people, that's for sure. They actually have an upcoming album dropping on September 30th. Wow, I will not be checking it out, but congrats to y'all. I'm so happy you made a comeback. Their music has definitely comeback. become a huge favor for a lot of different people. In fifth grade, I was like really emo. I feel like back then I would have ate this up. Maybe that's their form of relaxing, is to listen to this kind of music. And that's what music is for. They're trendsetters, clearly. As of now, we had an influx of pop incorporating metal, like the Olivia Rodrigo's. Yes. Even in rap, we have yes. a lot of artists like Playboy Cardi or like Rico Nats. Unfortunately, we also have people wearing Slayer and, uh, you know, other metal bands t-shirts without even knowing who they are. That as well that use those beats and elements of just like rage and expression. I can definitely see why it's still popular today. It's very intense and people like that. They Correct. won't be added to my Spotify playlist, but at least now oh, I can will. say, wait, what is that screaming in that bag? Is that Slipknot? Slipknot, if you're watching this, I love you. But like, I'm being very honest, okay? I wanna know how you guys sit down in your business meetings and be like, let's eat an arm. Sure. All right, everyone, so that was Generation Z reacting to Slipknot, Psychosocial, among other songs. And you know, what is really interesting is the fact that one of them, I think, one or two people were talking about the meaning and people not being happy. You know, the people that write this music are not happy. Or people that like this music are just angry and don't like it. That's not always the case. Many times it's not the case. For me personally, I just love it. It just makes me happy. I just like this 
wild effect. I just like that. That ah, you know, I, it's just cool and awesome to me. Now, of course, that varies from person to person, but that stereotype, again, one of many that people that like that music have problems, people uh, that create that music have even more problems. That stereotype really, whoop, we need to throw away. Other than that, um, it's not a surprise at all. Matter of fact, it's exactly what I thought they would react. Some of them were open for you know, to that idea of maybe listening to them in the future, I think. Uh, many understood what they are all about, but again, you cannot just judge that you know, based on a five minute or 10 minute song. They need to get back and read more and, and see them live. You know, that's the thing. Judge a band by their live performance. If you have seen the band live, and if you have seen a band live that you didn't like before, I'm telling you, especially Slipknot, you will be a fan no matter what. Thanks for watching. Let me know what I should react to next. I could not even talk. Let me know what video I should react to next. Maybe another Generation Z reacting. It has to be. It should be music related. Until then, stay safe, subscribe, take care. Bye bye.